Good morning, friends, again. I hope uh, your Saturday has started well. Now, this is a weekly video where my purpose is not to tell you 11,500 or 12,500. I think a lot of people are making those sorts of videos, but uh, I think it's more important to have a strategy than a prediction. Somewhere, you know, predictions are all rubbish because you are trying to hit some target in the future which may or may not come. I look at trading as an activity which happens between two levels, a buying level and a selling level. I hope all of you enjoyed the magic levels video that I just posted. Now, before I forget and my team gets angry, let me say that 31st of October, we have our uh, next webinar. And any of you who want to learn techniques like I uh, told you in the last video, which is a system by itself. Okay. So that way, uh, you know, those sorts of techniques which are not, you know, any kind of curriculum, but things that you can use the very next day should register. It's a small price, 20,000 plus GST. And uh, you know where to contact. The WhatsApp number is 9871066337 and uh, email at ashwani underscore gujral at yahoo.com that's a s h w a n i underscore g u j r a l at yahoo.com now let's quickly get to the chart and see what are the magic levels for this week i call them magic because they are available to everybody and very few people seem to be using them. So if I am a swing trader, my previous week levels are high 12,017, low is about 11,777. These are nifty cash levels and close at 11,930. Okay, so basically the range we are setting up is 12,017 to about 11,777. Now, what I would think is that given the global scenario, it looks very unlikely that we are going to break out of this range. You know, a lot of people are getting very excited with these dojis, etc. According to me, these bars reflect very poor momentum of the market. And as you can see here, we had these small bars here and you got a 300 point whack. You had these small bars here and you got a 400 point whack. Okay. So basically the strategy that I have is that I am going to wait at this 12,000, 12,050 zone and wait for the market to reject and 
I expect there could be another 300 point decline from here, which could be a single day affair. We could come back by end of the day, but this is very likely given this poor momentum. What the market is doing is it's sucking people in, showing them that it's very strong. But if it was so strong, you should have gotten a 150 point upside move. So A, I am looking to short at these levels and B, if we start to fall, I am looking to buy at 11,750 to 11,800 type of zone which is about here. Okay. So this is the basic plan that I have for the market, I don't expect a breakout. If a breakout happens, I would be very surprised. And in that scenario, what I would look for is the market to come back to 12,000, retest and then move up. So reject on the upside, but that is the less likely scenario on the Nifty. What you should look for when Nifty is at 12,000. Look at Dow S&P futures. Look at global market. If you are standing at 12,000 and you have Dow futures minus 200, you have, you know, European markets which are opening lower by half to 1%, then chances are that you will get your whack on the downside. So, you know, these are the additional conditions that you have. And once 12,000 is rejected, often the stops will bring the market tumbling down. Now this is as far as the Nifty is concerned. Let's have a look at the Bank Nifty. Now Nifty Bank, uh, I think we did not discuss the daily levels on the Nifty. The daily levels on the Nifty, the high was 11,974, the low was 11,908 and the close was 11,930. Now, if you are having a day similar to Friday, what you should try to do is look for buying around the 11,900 to 930 sort of zone. Look for a rejection from there and then trade a move up. So if you gap down for some reason into say 11,900, that would be a place where you have an intraday buy. If you gap up at 12,000, you get rejected. So in that case, the positional, the daily, the intraday, all traders try to ride for a 50, 70 point down move. So again, 900 to 12,000 is your important zone and what you want to do is, if you open lower, try to ride it up. If you gap up, try to sell closer to 12,000. I think life beyond 12,000 should be discussed once you are clearly above 12,000. Okay, because till then, 
the intraday player should not be messing with 12,000 on the long side. Okay. Now let's do bank nifty. Bank Nifty on a weekly basis. First, start with the weekly basis. Weekly, you have high at 24, 820, low at 23, 759, and close at 24, 478. Now, it's very likely that you open at the highs of last week because highs of last week will roughly correspond to about 12,000. I think 12,000 is the more important zone. Uh, I don't think uh, the bank nifty levels are as important. Although the next important level for bank nifty is uh, 25,200. But I think this week's high, if you get it up there, Again, look for rejection. The low of this week, which is about uh, 23,759, I don't think is likely to be achieved. The sort of uh, low which you will get maybe is closer to 24,200. Why? The high of the previous week was 24,200. And if you See the daily chart. I think this low is uh, 24,100. This low is 24,200. So in this 24,100, 200 zone, uh, you should not go below that. Although low of uh, Friday is higher, but I would think last week's low for support purposes is this zone of about 24200 so sell at highs of the week and try to buy at 24200 because uh, that is where the bank nifty found support several times now, as far as the intraday zone is concerned again 24,800 is a strong level. So any rally into that Monday morning, if you wrap up, you can sell into this. In terms of intraday uh, support, I would think the bank nifty is a little weak, but the first support comes in at about 24,300 uh, thereabouts. And Finally, if the best trade is in a range-bound market at about 24,200, you know you need to buy, and uh, at 24,800 you need to sell. So, uh, in case the market starts to collapse on Bank Nifty, your first port of call will be in this 24 800 type of zone the close of friday is about 24 480 so intraday this is one zone and uh, maybe if 480 is taken out say somewhere in this 370 480 zone is a buy zone for intraday player on bank nifty and anything which is closer to 12,000 on nifty should allow you to sell from higher level so weekly is 24200 to 24800 daily is say about 24 uh, 350 to about 450 on the downside and upside again 24,800 is that key level. In terms of weekly, if you start to get a 300 point type decline, then I would think that the low of the week may come into play 
which is 23 750 to 800 that is you know in case you have a sharp rejection from uh, <clears throat> higher levels uh, which is like a 300 point rejection on uh, on the nifty see here the monthly <coughs> excuse me, monthly high is 24 200 for previous month okay so again that is why 24 200 is so important so i would look at 24 200 as a support on a weekly basis while the low is about 500 points lower but as a weekly trader i think you should respect this uh, zone of i think here see now again the close of the month before last month was 23754 okay and 23754 is last week's low so how interesting we have monthly highs which were known uh, for the last couple of months 24 200 and 23 754 so you have these two strong levels with you on the downside on bank nifty on the upside on bank nifty i think this week's high and the monthly high of 25 300 and this week's high of 24,800 are relevant. So trading strategy wise, if we get past 12,000 and we are hanging in there, bank nifty is about 24,800. That would be, you know, levels where you get short. Similarly, on the downside, 24,200 plus uh, something like 11 750 800 that is the place you get long on a swing basis on an intraday basis the highs are about the same you know 12000 if you get there get short from there on uh, the bank nifty 24 400 450 is your intraday support and 24800 is your intraday buy zone now having said all of this uh, let's talk about pivots see what is the difference between pivots and uh, these magic levels see pivots are trying to forecast future levels while market has already created the magic levels so the idea is that Pivots you should use for future resistances and uh, you know real levels should be used where you have um, you know where uh, you know the actual trading kind of happens. So this way Uh, the pivot for Monday is 11,937, which is very close to 11,930. So this becomes kind of a buy zone, anything between 11,900 to 930. Similarly, Bank Nifty pivot for uh, Monday is about uh, 24,534. Again, very close to uh, the close on Friday. So, you know, you can see where you are getting confluence. So, anything closer to 24,500, you start looking for rejection. You don't need to know the exact level. Nifty, uh, 
pivot is about 11908 but i think more important are these r1 s1 the r1 is 12039 and s1 is 11799 one important thing i would like to mention here uh, let's finish with the pivot on a weekly basis you have 24 352 as your weekly pivot now we have all forgotten about the 20 day moving average see the 20 day moving average is right now at 11688 this is the blue line is the 20 day moving average it is possible that during the week this rises and gets to about 11750 770 so chances are that the 20 could coincide with your weekly levels which we have just identified so if the 20 coincides with the weekly low and the price comes there you should have a nice move to the upside so again where is the bank nifty 20 that should be lower than the nifty because bank nifty is bank nifty again it is at 23142 it is also possible that bank nifty 20 rises to about 24 uh, 124000 there about so for monday the stocks that i have identified most are on the long side the auto space did very well so i am looking at maruti madasan info edge mdm and chola investment as the stocks for monday uh, again on stocks also you have your magic levels so choose your particular stock choose the magic level from this week and uh, on the stocks i think the weekly levels will work much better than intraday because intraday things can get choppy so that is the advice broadly on what sort of levels to use but again intraday you will get your intraday type move so that should be it for this weekly wrap remember to join us for the webinar and that should be it for the weekly wrap take care trade well and please consult your financial advisor